how do you write such realistic dialogue? I talk to myself. I talk to myself and I pretend I'm the one saying the line. Like sanity is slowly slipping from between my fingers with every measly word they type out. That is how! Yeah, it was me. I made the cool ass sword. Sword is a cool ass word. <sighs> I'm only here for a very short time. So please don't waste my time. I know this is supposed to be deep, but my brain is going like, me at a party. <laughs> Leaving house, good for depression, bad for anxiety. Staying at house, good for anxiety, bad for depression. Standing directly in the doorway to achieve peak mental health. Devouring it, and by it, let's just say. On a I was talking about Goosebumps with a friend tonight, and I found the greatest tagline for any work of horror ever. Like, I am obsessed with how quickly this gets to the point. Welcome to Dead House. It will just kill you. Every romance book promoted on TikTok is just full to the brim with horrible, steamy taglines that are just like, Eyes on me, little beast. I'm here to make you damp. Me when I have to give my dog a bath. And if AI becomes sentient, who cares? What, are you scared? You can just do this. Hate? Let me tell you how much I've come to hate. <laughs> Alright, everybody shut up! Look how cool Shadow is. I'd let him piss on my wife. What? You had to be there. Don't date people who make you feel like you have to hide your stuffed animals. This is, without exaggeration, probably the best dating advice I've ever seen. Nemo Bear was here before you, and he'll be here after you're gone, my dude. Hey man, you wanna check out my new novel? It has a lot of references to recent internet linko. Also, it's physically hurtful to read. Immersive gaming. Five nights of phrase. Obsessed with the implications of this. Ah, oh, the smell of Home Depot is cathartic. Fairies live in the lights and chandelier section. Gnomes live in the outdoor gardening department. Stop romanticizing Home Depot. Pixies live in the pay tile, fuck you! When I'm bored at work, I sometimes Google extinct frogs and use the tape measure to conceptualize how big those would have been on my desk and just nod to myself going, damn, that was a big frog. Yeah, I think you should be allowed to cite scholars who are bad people, but only if you put the word oof or yikes after their name. Like Parker, ooh, yikes, ah, 1989. Or Abink. Big Oof, 2007. Freud, derogatory, 1923. If you see me accidentally blocked to the wrong account, no you did not. God, I wish I could move diagonally. What the hell, man? All the username, oh. With the power of ADHD, you can do two halves of a different drawers and then sit down again instead of finishing either. This may be mistaken for half-assing, but you could be wrong. I am whole assing, but I've distributed my ass across multiple tasks and didn't finish anything. But multiple chores are more done than they were before. Take it or leave it. You know, they're out of line, but they write. The G in LGBT is short for guy who, uh, how shall I put this, prefers the company of men. The L in LGBT is short for a lady who, um, how, how should I put this? prefers the company of women. The B in LGBT is short for bonus 10% damage against everyone. The T stands for that's against community guidelines. There's something stupid going on inside my head. It's called the thought. God, clear skin is so attractive. I chop a toe off for clear skin forever. I swear to fucking God, writing a post on this website is like talking to a fucking genie. Better be specific as shit or some smartass is gonna ruin your life!